Under Aries are all pushes, welts and pimples, freckles and sun burning in the face, the smallpox and measles, polyps, all diseases in the head, the headache of all sorts, vertigo, frenzy, lethargy, forgetfulness, apoplexy, coma, falling sickness, convulsions, cramps, madness, melancholy, trembling. Under Taurus are all diseases incident to the throat, as king's evil, sore throat, quinsy, wens in the neck, flux, or rheumatism in the throat. Diseases under Gemini are all such as are incident to the hands, arms, and shoulders. Whether they come in a real way or by accident as fractures, dislocations, and such as come by bloodletting, corruption of the blood, windiness in the blood. And indeed, I have often found by experience that Gemini signifies wind in the blood more than any other sign. I have now done with Gemini, after I have told you in my own opinion, which is that the upper part of the shoulders, namely that with which we carry burdens, is under Taurus, which is the emblem of labor and not under Gemini, as the common opinion is. Under cancer are all imperfections of the breast, stomach, or liver. Also, whatsoever are incident to the breasts of women, as cancer is there. And that inflammation, which women commonly call the ague in the breast, pleurisies, want of appetite to vittles, want of digestion of vittles, coldness and overheat of the stomach, dropsies, coughs. You may find out the rest yourselves. The rule is as plain as the nose in a man's face. Under Leo are all passions of the heart, convulsions. But if I may make so bold as to digress a little, I shall tell you, and prove it too when I am done, that convulsions are not a disease of the heart, but of the brain. The truth is, it is one of old Aristotle's opinions, which crept into this noddle, as he was marring Plato's philosophy the nerves have their original from the brain. Convulsion is a plucking or a twitching of the nerves. Ergo, it is a disease of the brain, not of the heart. But to return to my purpose, Leo, under all diseases, the heart or back is subject to, as qualms and passions, palpitation, trembling of the heart, violent burning fevers, sore eyes, the yellow jaundice, and all diseases of collar, and such diseases coming of adjustion of blood, as pestilence. And I am afraid London will find this too true so soon as Saturn comes into Leo. I pray God mitigate this evil influence toward them at that time. Under Virgo are all diseases incident to the bowels, the mesariac veins, the omentum, the diaphragm, and spleen. Take a few instances in this particular, worms, wind in the guts, obstructions, the colic and iliac passions, hardness of the spleen, hypochondriac melancholy.
Under Libra are diseases of the reins or the kidneys, which you please, or the significations of the words are the same. Pete of the reins in women, which sometimes causes death in travail, many times abortion, always hard labor, the stone or gravel in the reins. And now let me teach you a little. If Mars is significator of the disease, and in Virgo, it is the wind colic, without appearance either of gravel or stone. Have a care of your patient, lest it turn to be gravel in the kidneys when Mars comes into Libra, and to the stone of the bladder when he comes into the scorpion. By your own ingenuity, if you have had any, you may by this example find out twenty more like it. Lastly, under Libra are all diseases coming of wind and corruptions of blood. Now, under the scorpion are gravel and stone in the bladder, inflammations and ulcers there. All difficulties of urine whatsoever, all imperfections of the urine, ruptures, fistulas, hemorrhoids, the French pox, running of the reins, all diseases that infect the privities of men or women all diseases of the womb, of which more are in my guide for women already in print. Under Sagittarius are all diseases in the thighs and hips, sciatica, fistulas in those places, heat of blood, pestilential fever, and take this for a general rule that Leo and Sagittarius signify falls from horses and hurts by four-footed beasts, they being both of them signs of horsemanship. Besides, Sagittarius prejudiced the body by cholera, heat, fire, and intemperance in sports. Under Capricorn, all diseases in the knees and hams, pains, sprains, fractures and dislocations, leprosies, itch, scabs, all diseases of melancholy, and all rumors called scurrus. Under Aquarius are all diseases incident to the legs and ankles, all melancholy coagulated in the blood cramps, and the truth is, thickness of blood most usually proceeds from this sign. Ask old Saturn, he will tell you the reason. By this the ingenuous have a plain way to find out more, and by this Dr. Experience got materials to work with. Under Pisces, all lameness, aches and diseases incident to the feet gouts, all diseases coming of salt phlegm, mixed humors, scabs, itch, botches, and breaking out about the body, the smallpox and measles, all cold and moist disease, and such as come by catching wet and cold at the feet. And if you will be pleased but to consider the affinity Pisces holds with Aries, you will soon see a reason why wet taken at the feet strikes so speedily up to the head. As for houses of the heavens, they have the same significations with the signs. The first house with Aries, the second with Taurus, and so analogically till you come to the twelfth house, which hath the same signification that Pisces hath. I have now done with this part, 
only be pleased to notice that the fiery signs stir up diseases of cholera, airy signs, diseases of phlegm, signs of double bodies like Pisces, Gemini, diseases of mixed humors. And thus much for this part, the pains of which have been mine, the benefits shall be yours, if you will but turn idleness out of doors and place ingenuity in his room.